Hello, hello, welcome to Bedrocking Minecraft, Prowl's Patreon realm, this is Saber Dentures. And I feel like doing something with this guy here. You may not know who he is. Maybe that, that uh, custom map back there in the background gives you an idea of who this might be. This here is Batman in the flesh. He is here on Bedrock in Minecraft. And I have made him a secret bat base. This is number one. This is the bat haddock. There are in fact two other bat bays. There's bat bays number two and secret bat base number three. So this one, what got me started on this was, oh, there's a raid going I spawned, was, I, this is Rox's starter house. Very beautiful. It is, it, it all came together very well. But that overhang of her just begged to have Batman up on it. So I did the realm a favor. I put Batman up there. So everyone's happy. Especially Rox. Rox has Batman living in his attic. So Rox might as well call himself Bruce Wayne or something. So I'm going to go build some more bat, uh, secret bat bases. Because I want Batman to be able to do his vigilante business without interference. I want it to be as effective as possible. So that means I'm going to need some supplies. Of course I got, I got all the maps. I need some more armor stands, and I'll, I'll grab all the supplies. So I'm going to go grab those, and I will be right back. So one of the things I need for this project is black wool for the banners. And I thought, figure that I would go ahead and start recording whenever I buy stuff. And uh, I record it, that way I can always go back and I can see exactly how many diamonds I put in these chests. That way, like over here, this is... Uh, brown terracotta is a one diamond. Uh, gray terracotta is two diamonds. So I don't want to spend the wrong amount of diamonds. And if I do, people can people can catch it and point it out. And I can go back and I can fix it. So this is wool. I wool is one diamond each, right? Wool one diamond per stack. If that's any, yes, that is any. So I can sit here. I can just take mm, one, two, three, four, five. I'll spend five diamonds in here and I have been working on my bat box which I'll put my diamonds in here first and pull my bat box this is, these are the materials I've put together so far for things I think would go good in a secret bat base things make it look fancy very useful of course all those different bat, bat stuff so now I've got to go find a place to put it I don't actually have an exact idea off the top of my head. But actually right now an idea is forming so I'm gonna go check it out see if it fits and I will be right back. Alright so I have found a place I am happy with it. And this here is in Wraith's sorting system. Let me jump out real quick give you all a aerial view. So uh, Wraith has started doing videos on this realm too and he just did a video showcasing this, building it in and all. I have not seen a video, I just saw the thumbnail, so I've got to go see it myself, which I'll be doing here probably right after I finish this video. But I saw the thumbnail, it's a sorting system, and you know what sorting systems have. They have all this redstone space, all this unused space down here. And you know what? No one ever comes down here either. The only reason, the only times anyone ever comes down here is one of two reasons. Number one is we are troubleshooting, something's gone terribly wrong. Or number two, we're just showing it off. Neither of those are too likely to, likely to happen. This here is a good sorting system. Rafe built it, so I, I doubt the redstone is going to be too messed up. Uh, showing it off, he might show it off, but he's already done a video on it. I don't think he's coming, going to coming, be coming back down here anytime soon. So I'm gonna pull my back box. I've got to build myself. I've got to build Batman a nice home down here. So I'm trying to figure out where the most room is, and it appears to obviously be right over here. So whatever I do, oh, I forgot to bring a bed. You know what? I can make beds with all the wool I just bought. So I'm gonna plop down a jet, one of these. I'm gonna make myself a nice black bat bed. And bad bed can do it here. I always like bookshelves. Bookshelves are just awesome. So I think I'll put them that way. 
Yeah. Now I've got to get my the bat symbol out. Here, here as well. These things are. So let's see. I think I'd like it to be probably right there. Yep, yep, liking it so far. Now we need Batman himself as well. So Batman, where is Batman going to be? Okay, so whenever I'm doing the, there, there's a trick to get him and his cape just right. I'm gonna put him right here. And you know what? I forgot to grab any leather armor, so I'm gonna have to go get that. I will be right back while, and I need to go get that real quick. All right, I am back. I have a lever with me, so I'm gonna be able to. I don't have a map in my hand, even in my hand. So uh, I am gonna be able to craft some more of these now. I have a lever armor. So now what I need, actually, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a cauldron over here, because uh, if you did not know, if you make a cauldron, you can die a. You can die. Uh, die will go a lot further. Let me show you. I'll put a cauldron. Mm. Let's put the cauldron, you know, I kind of like right here. So, so a die, you can put, instead of having to use a one die, where's my bat box at? Is it my inventory? It is. So, instead of having to use an entire die for every piece of armor, which you cannot do, cannot do in Bedrock, by the way, because I, I can't die armor, I can even turn this into die. I just can't die armor, it doesn't show up over here, you just can't die like that. You have to use a cauldron. So you put a die in here, and now you can dive a helmet, dive a tunic, you can dive a pants, you can dive a leather boots, and I think you can even dive two more items before you before you run out of die. So that lets you, uh, it makes the dies go a lot further for certain items. Which, in my opinion, is a, a big bonus because, especially for black dye, black dye is so, such a pain to get. So, anyways, so now I'll be able to name this guy. And let's see, Batman. Yes, you are Batman. And now I need Batman's cape. I said uh, there's a trick where I could put to put the, there's a trick to putting the cape exactly on Batman. As you can see, that doesn't work. The thing is that it requires water to push Batman into the corner of a block and then have a cape sitting over here so he looks like this with a black cape. But as you can see there is a bit of person down here. Now because you're on bedrock condition, hashtag bedrock rocks, all these repeaters would not be hurt. The comparators would not be hurt but all of this redstone dust, any torches that are at ground level like this one here they would all be broken and I don't want to do that so what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to put the cape uh, by itself and these banners are not stacking why are they not stacking? I don't know I'm just going to hang it up Batman ha hangs his cape up whenever he goes to bed there, it's like a drape and I need to put a chest down so I can dump some of his items off but here Chest right there. Everything's better. And now I need my axe so I can actually break this. And I'm gonna finish this room up and I'm gonna work with it a little bit longer until I'm happy with it and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And not much has changed in here. I added just a little a few little extra things. I added in secret bat base number four because this is indeed the fourth one that has been made. There's two more very locations. Well, nah, I might rebuild them later, but not right now. Probably not this episode. Might see if uh, other people can find them. Have a nice la laugh out of it. So, anyways, I've added this one over here at Rafe's base. And it was brought to my attention also by Rafe that in the last episode, I kept saying, uh, I kept saying Rafe when I'm into Relic. I corrected myself once, and then I just still kept saying Rafe afterwards. So I do apologize. Unfortunately, neither Rafe nor Relic were scared by the beacon, so that was unfortunate. But either way, 
It was a good prank. Relic got all his emeralds. He's happy. We have a PvP arena that a Super Logan Utah made. And uh, it requires a ton of ever armor. So Relic decided he was going to do the community a service and he's going to go enchant mending and breaking on a ton of lever armor for the pvp arena so he just so he took up those emeralds and he's going to turn those all into books for with a villager trading so it all turned out wonderful everyone's happy and i believe that is a bright note to end today's episode thank you for watching and see you next time